fellow Ambazonian, fellow Southern Cameroonian, this is uh, Kapo Daniel, your civil liberty activist. I'm coming today to you with the No Conitok Zone and uh, giving SOS on behalf of uh, General Arke, who was kidnapped a couple of days ago and he's still in uh, captivity. Uh, we, we have received uh, disturbing information and we have also seen some uh, distancing or disclaimer by the IG. Uh, notably, uh, John Igoa, who have released a written statement and saying that they have what, whatever they say there, as well as we have seen uh, a post on uh, Facebook of, uh, of uh, Achu Kinsley. So, uh, I have received also some audios, uh, but before we before we start the show, it's an SOS. It's not a, a very it's something that is uh, very happy to do, but um, I'm going to have I think maybe 30 minutes of the show to to put out the information that I have to put out out there on behalf of uh, General Arke to tell his story and to tell the Ambazonia people exactly what is going on, who is behind who will be re responsible for what will happen to him uh, if not if something have not already been done to him and i'm going to explain all this thing to you so we we'll take some time amongst other things so you are all welcome it's uh 12 30 a.m. Uh, that's midnight, 30 minutes past midnight in Hong Kong. So you are all welcome. Uh, Amber Spot, you are highly welcome, and everybody is uh, welcome. So today, uh, we 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 had uh, received information previously that uh, General Arke was planned to be executed. Uh, I think that was yesterday. And um, we have come this far. After that information, we also heard other information that he was supposed to. They have asked them to execute him today because originally they planned to force him to make some confession, video confession, which he refused, and that had delayed uh, his uh, execution. So I'm going to use this this uh, platform to call an SOS and ask for him to be released immediately. And for those who have adopted him, who have kidnapped him, to tell them that they are committing a crime against God, against the people of Ambazonia, against this struggle. So I'm going to take my time to explain exactly what is going on, what has happened, who is connected, and uh, what has the IG done in response to our people contacting them about this incident. So I'm going to do all that in about uh, 30 seconds. I'll take this time to welcome everybody who is uh, in the house. And I ask you to share as well so that we can have an interactive uh, presentation. So welcome Mbimwi, V Mbimwi, you are welcome. Ngala Emangala. I say na Emmanuel away you are yeah you know you know spell your name properly. So you are welcome. Uh Josephine Kemfak Kemfak, you are welcome. Now Kemfak we go GBHS. Uh Nobu Me you are welcome. Yeah, Kemfak, you are highly welcome. Yes, uh <laughs> Chinese babes. Who is that Chinese babes? I salute you. Roots Boas, uh, I salute you. Ginny Rebecca, I salute you. Uh, I want to greet, uh, yes, Fosung Wilma, you are welcome. I want to greet all our Amber boys who are on the battlefield. We have seen the bravery and uh, we are waiting for report on certain operations. We have also seen some counter attacks by the, the mad dogs of La Republic du Cameroon on our guys. And we've seen the decapitation of one boy. We don't know if this boy is uh, an amber boy or not. 
but we have seen him his head being decapitated on the road and uh, these are barbaric practice these are illegal practice these are crime war crimes you don't have a right to to use this type of tactics to intimidate the population so charles nji you are welcome ivy lean uh, you are welcome yeah you are welcome <laughs> Sijangna, Sijangna Bo. <laughs> Amba Const, uh, Consti, you are welcome. You are all welcome. Gerard Ayoktabi, you are welcome. So you are all highly welcome. Uh, yeah, you are highly welcome. In about a few seconds, we are going to start and get rolling with the show. So I think. The music is uh, finished. I will let the other music go play in the background. So we will be able to go ahead and you can hear me. If you guys cannot hear me, please you just let me know. So ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Yanko, you are welcome. Uh, today we are going to make an SOS appeal for help for General Arke. Uh, this is unannounced. It is uh, impromptu, but we are going to do it anyway. I'm going to take this opportunity. And this is very personal for me because General Arke has been a very personal friend to me through this struggle. I, I didn't know him before, but I know him. I have met him before, in a, I think in Fundong, but not really, just casually. I, didn't, I don't know him personally. But because of this struggle, I've come to know him as a fighter, as a general. Just like any other fighters or commanders on the ground will contact activists sometimes out of curiosity sometimes they want to tell their story sometimes they want to advise you and let you know what is going on what is not going on that is how i know him but during this period where his life was in danger he had turned towards me to confide in me a lot of things and uh, to 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 ask me to to help him and uh, tell his story to the Ambazonian people. Other generals who are also under him has contacted me. His second in command before he was arrested has contacted me. Uh, his family, the, the family of his second in command have been uh, adopted as well. There is still one of his commander who is under hiding who has also contacted me. So we have extensive uh, information which we are going to share. And uh, I'm going to address all the things that are out there, including the letter from John Igowan, Pastor John, who is the, the Secretary of Homeland Security of the IG. I'm going to talk about his disclaimer. And also, Achu Kinsley has posted on his Facebook a, a message which he sent to me as well, that uh, Chris Bongam, asking Chris Bongam have to release General Arke. When I received that message from him, I told him that is good, thank you for, for, for calling for his release. But after a second thought and after having two conversations and received some, some uh, intelligence from one of the chat group of the cancer, it's in com, so I, I may not share it, I'll just interpret it, I will not share the, the, the audio of them talk, discussing about this issue. So I'm going to talk about it. So I don't know whether the release of the letter of uh, from uh, John Pastor John Igowan was to prepare us that he's something has happened already to General RK. I don't know. Maybe all this disclaimer everybody wants to run away from it is because something has happened. I don't know. So ladies and gentlemen, this story about General Arke started when on the 1st of October, he organized a massive commemoration celebration in Com. The funds, the local funds at, were in attendance, dance group from churches, Juju, uh, Bayam Selam, Ben Sikin, all of them were in full gear and we saw in uh, the match pass I think close to 700 amber boys participated in the match pass ceremony which was very brave 
General Arake became the pride of Ambazonia in Ground Zero. He, his uh, celebration of that, uh, of that uh, 20, uh, 1st of October was so massive that I was very proud. I posted it on my Facebook page and I said, I'm very proud to come from Boyo. And I said that if I have to give a mark who have done the greatest celebration for the National Day, I'm going to give it to General Arake and to the people of Boyo. So that was how big it was. Let me pause this thing. So strangely, after the the, the first of first of uh, uh, October celebration of the commemoration of our independence, General Arke become suddenly a target both for murder as well as for smear. And I, I was also involved in this issue because both parties had contacted me, which I'm going to explain exactly what happened and who, who said what and, uh, in all this issue. The first time, the first issue that happened was the, the guy who is in Germany who had produced a video and who have written some statements to say that he is the head of the, the Boyo Council. He contacted me. Previously, he had contacted me and tell me that they had a chat group of Boyo, people of Boyo. He wants to add me in that chat group. And I tell him, go ahead and add me. But uh, during this time, after that 1st of October, he contacted me again. He's in Germany. His name is Kweti. I don't want to give all his full name. It's not necessary. So he contacted me the second time after 1st of October. And he told me that that uh, he, he had called me and I refused to join the Boyo Council. I said, why? Why would I refuse? I am the main activi activist in the struggle from Boyo. So I should be in the Boyo Council. Put me in the council. And he turned around, he just played. He said, no, he asked me before. I said that I was not interested. So they will not put me in the council. It was busy. No, that they will, he will go and talk with them before they put me in the council. Uh, it was bizarre. I, I tell him, put me in the council. I'm from Boyo. Uh, for goodness sake, I'm the biggest activist from, from, from Boyo. I should be there. I should be there to, to contribute as a son of the soil and as an outspoken pe person, somebody who has been very instrumental in organizing things in Boyo as well. Even in our in Boom, we also have a Boom County, um, a platform which I was the one who initiated it. It has been almost a year since we have it. And it is our political, it is just to help our victims of the struggle from our area. It has nothing to do with local government and stuff like that. So after he contacted me, he asked me some question about General Arke. He told me that General Arke has been, uh, that uh, did I sponsor General Arke? Did I, am I in contact with General Arke? At that time, I was suspicious. So I tell him, no, I did. I just said, no, no. Why are you asking? He asked me because... They are suspecting that I was one of the people who, who sponsored General Arike on the 1st of October because they saw all those dresses they were wearing, all the preparation he made and everything. So he was telling me that they were suspecting me that I'm, I'm behind uh, General Arike and all that stuff. It's just, I just tell him that we, those of us who are activists on uh, Facebook in particular and we are activists in other platforms as well, it is not unusual that Amber boys, their commanders will contact us or they will keep contact with us, even without their diaspora community knowing or their sponsors knowing about it. So it is not unusual for me to have communication with uh, uh, General Arke. But that does not mean that I am sponsoring him. It's ludicrous. <laughs> Where I, I, actually, it is my policy that I don't give a kobo to a, a soldier personally. If I want to donate money, I will donate to any nationalist group. That is how I do it. Or I send them, I, I, that's how I do my, 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 my contribution. I don't send individual people contact me to send them money. So, so that is what happened. After I have that conversation with him, the, it didn't make long. There was an attack on a, as an attempted assassination uh, against General Arke. And uh, they reached out to me and they told me they have attempted to assassinate him. 
and I posted it on my Facebook page and they killed I think one of his guy and they almost killed one of the other guys or something like that what whether he was wounded or, or something like that I posted the news on my Facebook page that there was an assassination attempt on General Araki Major other activists, I think they, they came and they were trying to tell Ambassador people that it's a, it is a lie, nothing is going on, nobody doesn't want to assassinate General Araki. And um, if those who have been following me, you can testify, you, you saw it on my Facebook page. And still, the same Kweti who called himself the he is the, the council of the Boyo, but not to say that that is a council for all Boyo people. So he contacted me then and tell me that why did I post in my Facebook page that. Uh, General RK was uh, almost assassinated. And I told him that this information is coming from his camp. He, they told me that their camp was attacked and it was an assassination attempt and one of his guys died. They actually showed me, shared me the, the pictures and video of the barrier of the soldier who died. And this, uh, the, the Kweti guy told me that I don't know everything and uh, that I have not known what is going on. It was actually... Uh, General Arake who went to attack them because he was afraid that they would come and attack him. I tell him, you, you are in Germany there. <laughs> you are telling me that me, I don't know everything. Well, I'm in Hong Kong here. How better or how close are you in Germany to know things that me, I don't know? You don't need to be somewhere to know exactly what is happening there. Of course, the people who are there, who, can, who are witness of those events, they can actually report to people who are not there for them to understand what is going on. So he's keep on talking about you don't know what is going on. You don't have all the information. I say, okay, fair enough. If you are challenging me that I don't have all the information and that I'm hearing things just from one side, okay, I'm going to talk to, to General Amigo and I'm going to, to, to reach out to the other people to find out exactly what is going on. And I remind him that, to the best of my knowledge, Amigo had been banned from coming into COM. He should not come into COM already by General Arike because he was involved in certain things that no need to be said. They had some, uh, some complaints against him and they had sanctioned him and led him to leave Boyo not to come back again. I told him why would he come back? And he was explaining to me that uh, Chris Bongam, it was all those people who brought them and all those type of stuff. So that was what was happening. At the same time, they, they were sending out messages out there that there was no attack or no, there was no attempt to destroy uh, General Arike. So General Arike, uh, he came out and made a video to the Ambazonia people and he explained with his own voice, with his own mouth, through video and audio, you could hear, you can see him talking. This was not Capo Daniel or anybody telling him to say whatever he was saying. And he clearly points out two people, Chris Bongam and John Igoan. He personally warned them. For what? For embezzlement of money and for stirring up conflict between him and General Amigo, because General Amigo was in, in a conflict with him when he, he sent him out of Boyo. Now they have brought General Amigo, equipped him and phoned him to come back and get him. That was the allegation. I am not making allegation on his behalf. I am reporting what he had said to me and what he had said publicly so that everybody should know what is going on because this is the only way we can save his life. So when he made that video, after he made that video, there was a rush to eliminate him. It was too much that he had to run away out of, uh, he had to go out of Boyo. And he contacted me. And he was desperate. He didn't have a place to go because it was very urgent. And he told me, I have told all my guys to lay down their weapons. Nobody should attack because these guys they are using to kill me, in his own words, are my own people. These are my children. These are people I train them. So I tell him, okay, let me try to, to check some, act, some uh, people on the ground who are activists who can give you some place to, to hide your head there. And, uh, so he was out of Boyo for some time to, to let the thing calm down. He said that he's going to allow things to calm down. Some local nobles want to solve the issue. He was willing to go and have a dialogue and solve the issue because he knew that General Amigo was angry with him on a different personal issue. 
And he was saying by, him on, by himself that Amigo was being manipulated, was used by uh, Chris Bungam, who sits there comfortably in Dubai, and John, Pastor John Igowan. So, yes, John Siva, I'll block any agent who is there. So that is what he said. That is what he told me. I didn't know when he left the safe house where he was hiding. I just hear, have a phone call at 2 a.m. of his second in command who was running. And he tell me that they have come to his house. They have arrested his children and his wife. This is General GK. Uh, they have arrested his children and his wife. That if he doesn't turn himself up, they are going to kill him. And he told me I he cannot go there because they cannot kill General Arike if he's not there. Because he holds certain documents and certain information that they will be afraid to do anything for him if they don't catch him. That is what he told me. I'm just reporting to you guys what they, what they told me. So it was very sad. And he told me General Arike had actually had a meeting. I have re re released the audio he sent. General Arike had actually met them and they resolved the problem. And they he, he told them he was going on a mission, on their way on a mission. That was when they, they grabbed him. So, that is what happened. Before this issue happened, before this thing happened, the, the, the Quinty, who is presenting himself as a Boyo uh, council head, had told me that there is order for, for Amigo, for, for uh, Ariki to be arrested. And that is what he told me. And I explained to him, don't allow these people to, to manipulate you guys or to use you to cover up a crime. Because we have seen the same thing previously in, in uh, Batibu, where even Sikot and the other guys, they were involved in something that they didn't know they were being manipulated by somebody in America. Somebody was in America, he called General Ivor. You guys have heard the video, the audio, you have heard them. He called General Ivor, tell General Ivor, send your guys to, to go and help my people in Batibu. And at the same time, he was instigating the people in Batibu so that when those guys came there, they thought they were coming for an attack. And they arrest them and they were almost about to kill them. They end up torturing them, giving them bodily harm. You could saw the wounds on their, on their body. Those wounds could only come from serious torture. So that is what had happened in Batibo. We have seen the same scenario in Lebialem. We saw the same thing in Lebialem. We saw the two guys that ran away from the camp of the Red Dragons with, with wounds on their hands, mosquito bites on their backs, tales of people that were executed by the Red Dragons. So I knew already that this is deja vu. Deja vu. So I told the, the Kweti guy, that be careful not, be, not to be used by anybody. Don't be used by anybody. That is what I tell him. Let your conscience judge you. Whatever you are doing, make sure that you don't stain your conscience. If they are telling you that you should do something and you believe this guy has really done something bad, that nobody else has done it before. Because all of them, we know the type of people who are, are, are being used in, on ground zero there. We don't care who is being used. The most important thing is that people are fighting for a noble cause, using bravery, be brave to do to liberate the people. So, when he said this, I, this this was my word for him. So when General Ariki was arrested, the second in command who was in hiding. He sent me the audio which I published. General Ariki managed when because of the noise I was making on social media, they wanted it to stop. They allowed General Ariki to make a phone call. To somebody, let me block this agents of darkness. And uh, just to advise the public, the general public, before as I'm going ahead, you don't have to be here. This is a, a pub, this is a public platform for for the general public, but it is my platform, and you don't have to be here if you don't want to be here. If you are obsessed with any group. And you are on rational, you, you, are, you, are, you cannot be civil, you cannot speak politely, you don't have respect for other people. Please don't stay here. This is not a place for popularity. I am very satisfied if I have only 30 people. Only 30, I'll be very satisfied. So please, anybody who just wants to drop uh, propaganda or insult here, you are not welcome. Go away. Uh, go away. I don't want to see you. I don't want, I don't want toxic people in my platform. Even if you are an Amazonian, I don't want it. I'm not a beneficiary of public funds and nobody is funding me. I wake up 2 a.m. 
to, to talk to people about something serious and people will be coming here to drop drop uh, anyway so that is what happened that is what happened we know that general Arike had point finger to Chris Bongam that if anything happened Chris Bongam is responsible he has said so himself John Igowan is responsible he had said so himself so we heard that they were trying to kill him they were going to kill him but because of the noise we made they gave him that phone call he called my con my correspondent to to in ground in ground zero and my correspondent confirmed to me that he's still alive then next time he some of the people there they gave him phone or whatever he had to call somebody else and they talk and he they record it and they send it to me and i released it so now what is going on is we have seen two messages one from john Egwan disclaiming the ig from the, the the action of this council i want just to say about this to be very fair and to give you straight talk nobody should deceive us nobody should lie to us the ambazonian people this is not a fight for for dishonorable people this is a fight for dig people with dignity this is a god ordained struggle not a fight for liars we know what is going on. We are not fools. John Egoan is the secu Homeland Security. He is the main person who is distributing the money for my trip to Boya, to the various commanders. Somehow they make him to be that he is not a member of the ASC, but we know that he is the one giving money on behalf of the interim government to the commanders of the ASC. He is the most influential people. We have heard him giving direct commands to the soldiers on ground zero. So we know that he is involved and he is the person of, of, uh, of the IG, close to the office of uh, Dr. Sako. We have also seen Sikot, messages from the Momo Council of Sikot, saying that people who are close to Sako are being put in positions within that council against the voting we which against the wish of the people expressed in their vote so we know that this county local government the interim government has published the list who are these people who are constituting the members of the county government who are they did the interim government contact the people of those county to ask their opinion who do they want to be member of this council did they do that did they pick and choose did they make a public announcement that every county should send a representative or every county that is organized to send a representative did they do that so i just want to tell the people that we are not stupid the people who form this council are loyalists to the IG, to the to the the powers of the IG. That is why they are there to run affairs for the IG on behalf of the IG. We have seen even in, in certain areas, people have said, if you are, don't belong to this group, you cannot be allowed there. So we know that these are groups which do not represent the county. They represent the interim government in the county. We should not deceive ourselves. Just like the country head, the country head does not represent those county. They represent the ig in those counties in those countries that is a fact so i think i have I've laid my case about that one those people are the the, the people of those country country heads are of the interim government so when john Igoan come out to make a disclaimer and ask chris bongam to release them who is chris bongam chris bongam is the commander is the is the brigade gen is a general the, the brigade let me not say in french is a brigade commander of the sixth brigade the sixth uh, how do you call it the sixth brigade commander of boyo is chris bongam so he is the commander of that region he is the commander of that region chris bongam is the commander of that region so now they are asking for Chris Bongam. Achu Kinsley as well. He's, ask, he's asking Chris Bongam to release General Arike. Why would they ask him publicly to release General Arike? To pretend like they don't have anything to do with it. It is not in their hands. 
we cannot agree with the interim government that it is not in their hands because we know that Jen, John Ogowan is giving orders to troops in the ground. He is hierarchy. If he really wants General Arike to be released, or if they have already killed General Arike, and he wants to pretend that he doesn't have a hand in it, we will not accept. We will not accept that. Remember that the same people, even uh, Mark Barata, had come online to say that this is an eternal matter. He said that this is an eternal matter in come in Boyo. Let the Boyo people handle this issue. Then how can you now come and say, let Chris Bongam release General Arike? How can you do that? You cannot contradict yourself unless you are hiding something or you want to pretend, you want to now say that you are hand no day day. We are hand day for day. So why would not want to put an for Chris Bongam head alone? No be the, the council, the so-called Boyo Council, then write release document for Toxe Naden the whole General Ariki. The same people, the same uh, uh, Quinty, Quinty for, for, for Germany. No be that release uh, 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 Quinty that release video. Inside the video, it is Toxe, this General Ariki, it be under their custody. General Ariki, na it be under investigation. For crimes and way not only boy or people they know not only ye be the boy or man way no pass all we will be boy or people and now you go handle them so if Quincy for 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 germany then stand talk for ambazonia people for video and write them for paper say now you hold uh uh general Arke. why why you Achu kinsley where you they don't replace now you be the commander of the first brigade why you go to talk now say me that chris bongam release it? Why you not talk say me that uh, local government? Because I wanna make that local government by local government. When I did not proof so for we say that local government na a sham, na a disguise for facilitate crimes against Ambazonia. Na a, na a, a, a farce. Na people don't know I'm put our front just like the country heads. Na people don't know they put our front say no. Na they the supervise government. Na they know all the way to go inside government. But for for back now when they do the thing them. Now when they do the thing them. I is I expect Mark Barata, who have been the people's voice, to stand and tell Chris Bongam, John Igowan, Kweti, of the so-called uh, uh, Boyo Council to release General Arke immediately. We don't want to hear that it is this one uh, matter. It is General Arike is not a general of Boyo. He's a general of Ambazonia. They must release him with immediate effect. The soldiers on the ground have held meeting about this. And they have said, not me, that there shall be consequences. So me might not be king run now. Talk say, you know, they, they. he had no day for day, he had no day for day. No. The interim government needs to take its responsibility. The interim government is responsible for the actions of Chris Bungam. The interim government is responsible for the actions of Kweti, for the so-called Boyo Council. They are responsible for their action. Right up to Sako, they are responsible. And the Ambazonian people will hold them responsible for this crime if anything is done to General Arke. They should release him. We that we have had our leader, Seseko, adopted and kept in communicado, we cannot do the same crime to our own people. We cannot do the same crime to our own people. For what reason? For political reason. For political reason. He didn't do anything that nobody has done. He didn't do anything that nobody has done. They want to kill him. They want to kill him. And I want to tell people the truth behind why they want to, to destroy General Ariki and what he has done. If you remember, there is, a, there, is a, there is a group of generals on the ground, commanders on the ground, who have decided to come together and form a framework called the Ambazonia Military Force and cooperate within themselves in logistics, in terms of financial distribution, not distribution, sticks distribution, intelligence sharing, back up against each other. And they are being recognized hugely. I'm telling you, 
this is going to be a game changer. And when the interim government, who is we, the, the problem is that uh, we don't even want we are not worried about who is controlling what. I don't mind so long as it doesn't interfere with the affairs of other groups and people who are struggling just to liberate their country. I don't really care. So when the interim government here, Eric Tato went online to release the name of those people who were in that council, in that council, in that chat group where all these things was being done, they were so worried about people having control. I don't know why. Why, why that complex? That he went and released the name of the people of the chat group was called the 12 disciples. They went and released the name outside. And General Arke has said that the reason why they are coming after him was because he is joining this group, the AM, AMC. These are people who have not even asked people to give, to give them money publicly. They have not come out and asked anybody publicly. The AMC have not come out to ask anybody pub money publicly. It's just the ground troops they have decided that let them go and liberate their country. Let them put Ambazonia first. If county by county was just that they want to, the IG want to organize their own people, they should manage things there. Nobody, I will be very happy with the county by county. We don't refuse county by county because it is uh, coming from the IG. No. When I came here, I said that my trip to Boya have no measures put in place to safeguard that the money will be used delic deliciously and for the purpose for which it was promised to the Ambazonia people. A lot of people were saying, I am too I'm critical, I am too critical. The same thing happened. The money has vamos, over 500 million have been misappropriated, given to people who have taken the money and disappeared, some given to people to renovate their office, and the people on the ground, they didn't receive anything. Now they want to organize themselves, you are coming to destroy them, because you want everybody to come under you. You want everybody to come under you or you disappear them. The same Eric Tato who said that no IG, no independence. That is their policy. So when I came out, I was telling the Amazonian people, not only me, uh, uh, Chairman Akwanga, Chairman Ebenezer Akwanga have said it, that it is, it is divisive. It is drawn against tribal lines. Forget even about what I say. Forget even what Dr. Kwanga say, what uh, 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 John Bakuro have said about it, what everybody have said about it who have brain. Listen to the people who have created this county local government. For somebody to sit in Germany and say that nobody can come into Boyo without taking permission. The same thing that happened in uh, Momo. For them to say that for people to, for any other force to enter Momo will be considered as an incursion, as an enemy. That is the fact. You cannot, there is a difference between trying to, to describe what you want or what you think something is and what the thing is really about. As a matter of fact, the county by county is not what Mark Barata is trying to tell the Ambazonia people that it is all about. The county by county is what Nkwenti had said to the Ambazonia people. It is what the people of Momo have said. It is what the people of Lebialem have said. They can see it on ground zero by themselves. So if the Ambazonia people have decided to be gullible, we are not saying that everything is bad. We are saying that if they just want to make organization, they can go ahead and do it. It is a good thing. Organize themselves, organize the people. But don't go and want to go, don't go to try to use it to spoil other groups to target to destroy other groups don't do that it is wrong i don't oppose county by county because it comes from somebody no i oppose it because of the policy that we are seeing on the ground being implemented that is the only reason you can use the name county by county it doesn't matter you can open your no nobody will stop somebody from opening his government everybody can do that it doesn't matter Release General Arke now. Release General Arke. If General Arke dies, if he has already been killed, I am passing a message from the commanders on the ground 
of the Ambazonian military force, there shall be consequences. Some of you who have been, been uh, like the guy in, in Europe who was there pointing fingers on me, after Sako came out and lied that I sabotaged his presentation in the United Nations Commission for, for, for Decolonization, you lie to my name. You lie to me. You get your people to threaten my life, threaten my family for nothing. I didn't do anything to them, to nobody. I am an Ambazonia. I have contributed money to my trip to Boya. My trip to Boya was launched on my platform. My face is in their sticker. It is my duty to ask for accountability and to investigate when I hear gross mismanagement and complaint coming from ground zero. And when I was deceived to support it, on the grounds that if you support this thing, they will collect money and share it to everybody. It is my job, it's my responsibility to ask them to contribute it. If anybody think that the only person who can ask my trip to Boya uh, uh, accountability is somebody who have paid money, let that person go and tell Dr. Sako to show his own money that he contributed to my trip to Boya or, or country levy. And secondly, now the, the, the my trip to Boya money, over 500 million CFA, has vamoosed or is unaccounted for. Now they are now telling people to go and give money to their counties. So, you allow me first of all to give you my money. You did not even send 20% to my county. Now, after you collect the money, you are now telling me to go and now contribute my own money to my own county. If you want me to go and contribute money to my own country, give me back my own money that I gave you before so that I'll take it and go and support my county. When the people in, in Manu was dying, when they were fighting, when the Tigers was fighting, Mark Barata was asking for offering. We were giving the offering. Everybody, whether you were from Mezam or from Menchum or from Meme, you were contributing money to support Manu. Today, they want to tell us that, okay, let them give back the money that they supported Manu. Let us go and support our place. What, is, what type of foolishness is this? Just because you want to create a barrier, you want to, to demonstrate to everybody that now you are, have a government, there should be no government because you want to go it alone. It is not good. This is a time of war. We don't have to be criticizing all the time. We don't have to be criticizing all the time. But I am forced to criticize because the policy that they are putting forward is an impediment for our progress on ground zero. It is an impediment. It is an impediment. So that is why I have to criticize it. It is okay if the interim government come out and say we want to create our local government, the interim government, local governments, so that when we want to deal with menu, we will know the person to contact. When we want to deal with Meme, we will know the person to contact. We will do our county by county. That will be fine. I support the county by county of the interim government. But don't pretend that this is a local government formed by the people of the county. No. Those are your people that you have handpicked. Why lie about something? Why lie and make people to be fighting every day, every day? Why, why should you lie about it? Yes, my job is to point and correct all the mistakes and the shortcomings of our struggle. That is what an activist is supposed to be doing. I'm not just supposed to be clapping and telling everybody everything is going on well, when things are not going on well. So, I'm giving out an SOS. And I am rejecting, I am personally rejecting the disclaimer of Achu Kingsley and, John, and Pastor John Egoan. I do so on the capacity as an activist and an Ambazonia. And secondly, as somebody that General Arke has personally contacted and he personally trusted me with his safety that when he was on the run, I could protect him. So I take it as a personal thing to tell the, the people who have said that Chris Bongam 
should release him to say that that is bullshit. That is hypocrisy. If you, Mark Barata, you come out and you say that it is a boyo issue, you are covering up as well. We expect everybody who, whose hands is clean to tell Kweti in Germany who have come out, unless you guys already know the games you are playing. Kweti have come out and said the, Momo can, the, the Boyo Council have him in their, their custody. So tell him directly. Tell him to release him. Tell him that this is an Ambazonia problem. Don't come and play Connie. Let Sako give the order. Let John Egoan give the order. Let Chris Bongam give the order if their hands are clean. If their hands are clean. I know his name is not Chris Bongam because we know, we know his name. We know his real name, but it doesn't matter. We are not here to be exposing people to, to our enemies to attack our people. But they should release General Aruke. They should release General Aruke. Otherwise, they have created a civil war within a, a war. They have done that because there shall be consequences. Not from me, but from the soldiers on the ground who have said that there, will be, there shall be consequences. So all those fake disclaimers and people posting messages, General RK should be released because they want to prove to the Amazon people that maybe they have already killed him. They want to say that their hands were not there. They were not involved. They didn't know. We have rejected it completely. We have rejected it completely. The idea they are now trying to come and say that he had killed some people. I received the audio already from the council there. They have seen an audio and said that they, they, they come. They have already, his boys have already run away. The whole, uh, uh, how did they call that area in, uh, in Kom there, when you're going down to, to the, in, uh, in, uh, in Fundong there. The boys have already dispersed, they have dispersed them already. They have run away. His, his troops are running away. His children have all run. They have gone to Bamenda, gone, some have gone far. They are running away for their life. And they have sent the audios. They have said that uh, General Commando is the next person they are going to target. I have it here. It's in Kom. I have it here. I will, I will, maybe I'll share it. Because you don't fight darkness with darkness. You fight darkness with light. Anybody who is honest, who is saying the truth, you don't need to lie. You don't need to hide things. You don't be worried when people are saying things. So I'm making an SOS on behalf of General Arike. Release General Arike before tomorrow. Before tomorrow. We are not going to wait forever. If they can do like that to our leader, Seseko, in La Republic, we don't expect our own Ambazonians to do like that to us. Release General Arike before the end of tomorrow. The 2nd of November is the deadline for General Arike to be released. For General Arike to be released. Watana Wata. Watana Wata. Trutuso Watana Wata. No be bub No be no be that way that it may make a may make bub bub bub. When I release General Arike. When I release General Arike. And I hear some people that they talk say. Now the best way is to fight the war. We need to do na county by county, na war my war. I want to tell our people: this is war, but this is not war. This is war, but this is not war. What do I mean by this is not war? This war that is going on in Ambazonia, it has not even reached the the they call it a category A war. It has not even reached category A. What we are fighting then is, is still in the very low. Yeah, it is, I've just received some messages now. It is still a very low conflict. La Republic have not yet started using uh, artillery shields. Where they will ask the whole village, all civilians to come out for them to start using those heavy weapons. This is not even a war, the category of war. that this is, You have not even reached war. So our people should not be deceived. That we can fight conventional war. Let me tell you, I just come from dinner, having dinner with my, with my friend who is from uh, Southern Sudan, an activist who lives also in uh, Hong Kong. He's a business person here. He has fought war in Sudan. The so Southern Sudanese, they have a tribe called the Dinkas. They, I don't know if it's Dinkas or the Kinkas. 
they also have part of their that tribe is also from uh, of Uganda. During their war, Uganda and Kenya were supporting Southern Sudan with ammunition. They were giving them guns and training. That is why Southern Sudan could win them. Let somebody not come and deceive you that we can win. So we can win the Republic of Cameroon in conventional warfare. We can win them only through guerrilla tactics. Only through guerrilla tactics, hit and run. Only that. I don't need to go and get the, the certificate of Dr. Akwanga to know that one. Let nobody deceive you. We don't have military advantage over our Republic of Cameroon. We should stop playing with the life of our young men by creating local governments that will not help them. Just because we want to show show that we are now government. We are now government. We should be very careful. We should be very careful. When we come here, we, we are saying things. People think that it is a popularity. This is a game. We come here, someone is saying, oh, because you want position, you want one position. It's not a game. People are dying in Ground Zero. They are dying. Human beings have been killed. And if they continue my, my, my this uh, county by country, we will not be able to sustain this resistance, the arms resistance, because they are killing us. I cannot give you the percentage because it's sensitive. They have wiped out a very big amount of our people because of this reckless policy of trying to organize them in terms of, in terms of a local government. They have killed a lot of people because of this recklessness. So we, now it's until we are not be quiet. How can I sit down? I know that our people are dying because of reckless policies. How can I sit down? How can I do that? Unless we are here fighting for ourselves. As for me, I'm not fighting for myself. As a matter of fact, I wanted to stop me this activities thing. I already announced that on the 15th of this month, of the last month, I will stop. The only reason I'm here is because I am, I'm feeling, I see they, they are attacking me and I'm looking on the ground the way people are dying. I said, how can I sit down? How can I give up? I don't want to do these things. I don't want to do this thing. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I really don't want it. I don't want to. I, I, I feel our people, our people, sometimes you look at their behavior and their inability to grasp simple things and you feel discouraged. They will fool them, fool them. Somebody will come and release a, a, a paper, a document, come and make video and say that I am the one holding uh, uh, somebody. Another person will come and just give one word. You will now fall already like uh, gear away the share and for instance quarter. Yeah, I think some people will always say you are, IG, you are AGC. I will repeat again and again. I am not an AGC member. I have never been an AGC member. It does not mean that anybody who can see the negative things is from AG. Not even everybody who is smart is from AG, AGC. Monago <laughs> Anyway, I have given the information. The the disclaimer from uh, Achu Kinsley and the disclaimer from John Igowang, I, I have rejected them. And for those who used to want to ask, who are you to do this? Who are you not to do this? I am Kapo Daniel, Sense Pass King. I am Lukong. I am the warrior from Boom. I have rejected all those disclaimers. And I am passing a warning, not from myself, but from the AMF, the commanders of the Ambazonian Military Force. That General Arike should be released with immediate effect. Otherwise, there shall be consequences for anybody and everybody responsible for his arrest. That is a warning. When I go begin the play play, when I begin make una una, I'm I'm receiving some messages. When I go begin the make una play play for day. Anyway, thank you for for listening for it. We are here. There is big things coming on the ground. I'm telling you guys, there is big things coming on the ground. All these things you guys have seen is play play. These guys, this this generals on the ground, over 30 of them who have gathered to form this their, their group. They are not even asking anybody any money. They, people will be begging them to give them money. And those people who are who are 
Be optimistic, Ambazonians. Be optimistic. We have people who are ready to fight for the common man, not just for themselves. So be optimistic and look for opportunity to help. Help everybody. Don't, don't help only people who come from your area. Help everybody. If you see refugees in uh, Meme, in uh, Akum, if you get money, you get them for the go help them. Any general where you see say they do good work, help them. The idea say we will begin to support people then based on our tribal lines or where we come from is wrong. In Ambazonia, our constitution, the constitution in order, allow for people who have half attachment, who have grown up in certain areas, to be considered as people who are permanently resident there, and you should function like that. So God bless you. Let me see if there is any question. No, my problem is not that the IG should not have the right to go anywhere. Everybody have the right. The IG should open his government, his local government. But they should clearly not uh, infringe on the right of other people not to come there. They can say, okay, we have created the IG's uh, Lebialem uh, local government. This is the interim government's uh, Boyo government. We will agree. But let this local government don't claim to be the local government of Boyo by Boyo. Because we, the people of Boyo, did not give them that right. We have not have, ever had any election. We were never consulted. These are hand-picked people who have been put there to manage the affair for people in the interim government. So let's everybody have the right to do their things. The interim government have the right to create their local government. But they should not impersonate. They should not be impost, impostors. They should just do their thing in their level. We have not liberated our country. Exactly, we are at war, John Siva. We are at war, but as they say, everybody is entitled to his stupidity. If they want to go ahead and do something, they should go ahead, they should feel free. But we are, we are arguing because they will come and say that people should not go into Boyo. If you go there, they will consider you as an enemy. What? What? When injustice becomes law, we, all of you know the answer now. You know the response already. How can we not resist? If they want to infringe on our rights, on, on, the, on the rights of Bayam Selams on the ground who are, inter, who are going all around. These things have consequences. When that young man in Germany says like that, the boys who he sends money to them, they will act on it. He doesn't, maybe he doesn't know. As he said that we don't know, we don't have all information. Do, does he know the people that those guys on the ground can kill because of what he is saying? Our words have consequences. And we should be responsible with the way we use those words. We should be responsible. For all my people who contribute over Ground Zero, for all Ben Skinner, Ben Skinner, uh, Ben Skin them, all by them, selling them, all truck pusher them. I want to tell when I say we day together for the fight. La la to la la, we no go leave them, we no go surrender, we need to turn back, because the price we don't pay for this struggle, you have a plenty. We go hold grass, we go hold stick. We will get plenty good news them where they come. That commander, the way they don't gather and so, would hear to where they plan to do, and would hear the things the way it is at hand. When we see the cloud that begin gather, they will know that the rain go fall. <laughs> rain go fall for ground zero. When I hear, when I be done wait, they be done promise when I grant not, promise when I do one, promise when I do one, promise when I do one, when I never see them. Shh, me no man no go talk. Shh, me no man no go talk. When I do, when I do the day, when I hold on a skin. Organize when I serve them. Organize when I serve them. Me man no worry. We no go fail. We no go fail. No man no go pass we. We no go fail. God bless you now. Since I no get no question, I go live on for day.